Welcome on board the brand new and highly anticipated MSC Virtuosa. Follow us as we show you around this amazing brand new ship. Cruises and welcome on board. Yes, you heard us right. We're actually on board a cruise ship. We're actually on board. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I've got to admit, feeling a little bit overwhelmed, a little bit like it's all a dream. Yeah, definitely. I feel like I'm in a bit of a daze. It feels like we never left, but at the same time, it's been 15 months and it is incredible to finally, to finally be here. Guys, we're not in our bedroom anymore. We're not in our house. We're actually on a cruise ship. And that roof looks absolutely incredible. You might be thinking, oh, we've skipped all of the part of getting on board, but we did take some footage. It was very fast, very smooth. So should we talk all about what it was like getting on board? Uh, so let's take a seat before we take you around this wonderful ship. So getting on board was really easy. We arrived at the port at our time that we were supposed to. They are very strict on that. We had to wait in a, sh uh, a quick line to get into the terminal and we had to show all of those documents. So we had to, and they very much checked it all, didn't it? PCR test, insurance, and all of your booking details. Hi, we're finally inside where it's nice and warm. We're just about to check in. Uh, we've got all our documents ready to go. From there, we went through to security, which was just the regular amount of time. And then once we cleared security, we then had to queue for our PCR test. Again, there was not really any queue, it was just sort of walk straight through. So then we got our PCR test, which thankfully... So nice. Oh, I was so nervous. Well, I wouldn't say it was nice, but she was amazing. She was so quick, she was so lovely. David grabbed a little bit of footage. Just had your test? Yeah, it was good. She was very, very good, very gentle. She is, isn't she? Very good, thanks. I, was, I have been dreading that for two days, so thank you. <laughs> And it was such a quick boarding process, we were planning to get our camera out and film, but we just did it on our iPhone, so you'll see all of the clips of that. But she was lovely, wasn't she? She stuck it right up there into my nose. Two seconds later, all good. It was yeah, amazing. Was in and out. And then we just had to go to one more desk. This is where you literally just picked up your, your cruise card and your MSC bracelet for contact tracing so they can see who you've been next to on the ship. Um, and that's it. David's card hadn't printed quickly, so one of the ladies took us on board straight away to get it printed on board. But that's it. And now we're here. So we're going to take you on our wonderful ship tour. We're going to stop wasting time because we know you all want to see this fabulous ship. So come on, let's go and start the tour of the MSC, MSC Virtuosa. Let's go. Come on, Ben. So we're sailing on her from the first ever time from Southampton. Let's start outside at the top with a bird's eye view of this lovely ship. Well guys, welcome on board. It may be breezy here, but we don't care because we're so excited to be back on a cruise ship. We're at the main pool deck and it is rather, rather chilly. I don't know if I'll be getting my swimmies out yet and jumping in that pool, but we can only dream. We've got a beautiful picture of the Caribbean up, so let's just close our eyes and pretend. So excited to be back on a cruise ship. I can't wait, 15 months, can you believe it? Yay! We had typical bad weather in the UK, but there's so much room for sun lounging when the weather is good. And we loved the two huge curved hot tubs at either side of the ship. We still enjoyed them, even with the weather. At the back of the ship, there's another pool with an amphitheatre with loads of seating and sun loungers, as well as a bar. Now, how cool is the Savannah Aqua Park? It features a ropes course and three different slides, including a fish bowl slide. It was far too cold for us to try, maybe next time. Because the weather was a little bit rubbish, we'll take a look from above to see all of the features.
You can also see the roof of the indoor solarium and private yacht club at the front. Now back inside where it's nice and warm, we visit the Sky Lounge. This is the Sky Lounge and it's at the very, very top of the ship. This is actually our favourite bar on this class of ship. We really like it in here, especially on an evening. Lovely view, lovely drinks. Uh, yeah, it's our favourite spot. I think these will be our seats later, Ben. Just next door, there's all of the kids club areas. From toddlers to teens, there's something for everyone. Oh, I think this is gonna be my spot for the rest of the cruise. You right, girls, ladies? And obviously, this is the kids' club's area on board. Who's right your friend? friend? It's the Lego man. Great right, sailor. There's even a cool lounge for the teens to chill in and make new friends. And down the stairs, one deck, we have the gym. Does anybody know what one of these is? Apparently, it's for something called exercise. Anyway, it looks like it's got a lot of equipment to use here. And just behind the gym, we have the Sportsplex. At the entrance, it features a small arcade. A little bit different to the other ships, it's a little bit more open on Virtuosa. This looks so much fun. We've got the VR centre, we've got the, um, the MSC race carts, we've done these before and they are lots and lots of fun. Plus there's a full-size bowling alley as well, which is really cool. Bowling, the F1 racing and all the VR stuff are all extra charged, so keep that in mind. And it also features a sports bar to grab a drink after all of that gaming. There's also a full-sized sports court in here. It has football, it has basketball, and lots of other sports that I know absolutely nothing about. There's handy screens all around the ship showing exactly where you are in each deck. And it's the best lift slash elevator system we've ever seen. You literally just push a button and it immediately tells you which lift it will be. Genius, it genuinely is a really good thing. Now let's go to the buffet for some food because I'm feeling a little bit hungry.
There's plenty of places all around the buffet to eat. And actually, we really like the fact that there's big, beautiful windows as well where you can see out. Of course, at the moment, in these times, the tables are blocked off with uh, every other seat blocked off for social distancing as well. But still, there's plenty of uh, options as well. There's also a self-service beverage station where you can help yourself to tea, coffee, juices, and water. Lots of different teas there. And if they have my favorite, the good old chamomile. I like chamomile. So the Marketplace Buffet is the main buffet on board. Loads of selection of different types of food. Of course, at the moment, it's not a self-service buffet. If you ask the crew, they will grab the food for you and plate it up for you as well. One cool thing about MSC is that they even have their own mozzarella station where you can see them preparing and making the mozzarella. They do it every day and uh, sometimes throughout the day as well they have talks and demonstrations. Let's get into the warmth of the tropical bar. It's the solarium on board. Outside is Baltic with this British weather. So it's so nice that it does have a solarium. It's got a lovely big pool. It's got two whirlpools on the lower deck and two whirlpools on the upper decks as well. It's just a really nice space. You can have a drink, have a coffee, and it's got a great bar as well. One of the great things about this solarium is the fact it's got loads and loads of seating, which is fabulous because you can grab a cocktail or a drink from the bar, or even have a coffee, have a relax, and just watch the world go by through one of the amazing windows. There's a great bar in here as well called the Tropical Bar where you can get lots of different cocktails but also some fantastic coffee as well. Coming upstairs guys, let's have a little look what's up here. Wow, it's got a uh, table football, there's some uh, table tennis there if you want to play a bit of games and more seating and two more whirlpools up here as well. And it's such a lovely view. And it's such a lovely view, what a wonderful space. We absolutely love the hot tubs. We will definitely be going in here later. It's awesome as well because it's got a really cool view uh, throughout the windows. Wow now, this is bling, isn't it? These are the Swarovski, Swarovski staircases. Oh my gosh, they're making my eyes hurt. They are so bright. They are absolutely stunning in every single way and seen on all MSC ships, they're so lovely. Now let's go downstairs to the heart of the ship. On the lower decks, there's a bar with lots of seating a shore excursions desk, as well as guest services if you have any problems. There's often live musical performances here, which was so lovely to see post-Covid. It's a great space to relax and just chill out. and back up a deck you'll find the photo gallery. And just opposite there's one of the brand new features first for MSC, the Starship Club. Wow. 
welcome to the super futuristic Starship Club. Much anticipated with our robot Rob in the background. He gives you out cocktails. It is an extra charge. We had a look at the prices and it's 18 pounds for a cocktail, which to be fair, we think is a little bit steep as it's included on the Royal Caribbean drinks package. Lots of you have asked us, but no, it's not included in the drinks package. But what a magnificent piece of technology. My gosh, so much choice. What to order? I can choose a pre-made cocktail or I can make something very special for myself. How cool is this robot? Towards the back of the ship on two decks, there are the four main dining rooms. Here's where you'll find all of the complimentary dining. How jazzy is this wine cellar as well? It is absolutely spectacular in person. Welcome to the Champagne Bar. Now, this is one of our favorite places to hang out and drink. So glamorous, so bling with all of the lights. And we do love a lovely glass of bubbly. Again, when you sat down on the ship, you are allowed to not wear a mask, but fingers crossed you're watching in the future when masks are long gone. Ah, we could just sit here all day enjoying champagne and people watching. There's nothing better. Behind the champagne bar, you'll find the casino. There's loads of machines and tables. And this leads directly onto the back of the ship and the carousel lounge. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Hi, welcome to the show lounge. This is the carousel lounge. It uh, hosts shows on an evening and live music. But the best thing is these awesome views with these amazing windows. It's a fab place to be during the day as well as the night. I feel like I'm on stage. Hello. Hello, everybody. Here we are on the Virtuosa Galleria. It's such a lovely place to be. Loads of bars, restaurants, nightlife, and that amazing, huge LED screen on the roof. Isn't it just fantastic? On the lower level of the Galleria, you'll find the Virtuosa Boutique. It offers shopping. And just opposite is the Virtuosa Bar and Lounge. Now this place was always buzzing with live music, dancing, and parties. It was really great to see. On the second level of the gallery, you'll find the British-inspired pub, the Masters of the Sea. There's a huge selection of beer, lager and other drinks. Opposite the pub, you'll find the TV studio and bar. 
We were a little bit confused what this space is. We wish they had changed it on this ship because it always is a little bit quiet, but it's a good place for karaoke to watch presentations and grab a quiet drink. Next door is the Il Campo restaurant. This is an exclusive restaurant for those booked with the Aurea package, which is the spa and wellness package. Now let's keep walking along and you'll find the amazing chocolate shop and coffee shop by Jean Philippe. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. We wish we had smell -a vision the chocolate is actually handcrafted here too, which is pretty cool. It's a ship that has a chocolate factory. And just opposite, you'll find Holla Tacos and Cantina. It's an extra pay speciality restaurant offering Spanish style cuisine. Then upstairs, we have one of our favorite restaurants, a Kato Sushi and Asian restaurant. It's so good. It genuinely is one of the best places to eat. And we love that the seats face the Galleria. It feels like you're dining in the Mediterranean. And then just next door to the Kato Sushi restaurant, you will find another speciality extra pay restaurant. It's Butcher's Cut. It's the onboard steakhouse. We've had some really great meals here before. It's definitely worthwhile. And again, you can eat semi al fresco onto the Galleria. Back downstairs again and you have an excursions desk as well as the crepes and gelato shop. Wow, the gelato looks absolutely incredible and we did order a crepe as well and it was really, really yummy. You'll have to watch our blogs for that, but it is an extra charge. Again, you're going to find more places to shop. And then there's a brand new speciality extra pay restaurant, Indochia, serving French Indonesian food. It smells really good. We're going to try it later on in the cruise. The decor in here looks really gorgeous and really fits in with the theme. That's been a very long day and we hope you enjoyed our ship tour of the MSC Virtuosa. Join us next time. We're going to head up to our cabin, take a look up there. We're going to try everything, all of the food, the 21 bars, take a better look at Rob in the Starship Club. But thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe. It really helps us bring more content to you and give the video a thumbs up as well. Thank you as well so much to all of our patrons. It's because of your support that we can fund trips just like this one. If you want to find out more about becoming a patron, you get lots of benefits and extras. You can click the link in the description section below. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising.